Hello, my name is Rashad. Welcome to Blue Century. My boy Justin is back from Boston. Rest in peace, Charlie Murphy. And I got my boy Jared. What's going on? How you doing? Worst cameraman alive from episode one. But he's here to be in the video this time. Yeah. Well, the question is about can is it alright or can men be petty? And I just got a quick example. It was a um, story on the news. This lady, she was dating five men. They all thought, you know, they was in this. Uh, what's the word? What kind of news do you watch? Channel two. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the name of one on one dating? A one on one dating? A, a, the proper word. For dating? Yeah. They thought it was. <laughs> well, they thought, you know, the men <laughs> thought it was just them dating the girl alone. There was nobody else interfering in the relationship. A catfish? No. She was dating five dudes, but they all thought that was their girl. Like, nobody else was talking. Cheating? What's the name? When you think you're in a relationship, just ain't no polygamy or... Po polyamorous? Polyamorous. Oh, okay. So, the, every, all the dudes thought, you know, they singly dating this girl by herself, but come the to find out... Can you like that? Yeah. For, the more you know. <laughs> so, two of the guys had found out that they was getting played by this girl. And so, in turn, what they did... They talked to each other and they pulled a prank on her. One proposed to her while the other guy walked up and caught her off guard. At first, she was excited. I did hear about this. At, can, I, can, I, can I finish this? Yeah. Um, Look at him. Okay. Um, same girl. Same girl. She was the love of my life and my potential wife. She's the same girl. This is what you're talking about, right? Okay, this the, we know this story. It's so the to the storm, so yeah. same girl by R. Kelly. So basically, the you guys... Gotta, you gotta condense, bro. Let's keep... I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm being rude. This man is just over. See, you need to take your butt back to Boston. You gotta go. <laughs> so basically, the dudes confronted her. They made her feel some type of way. She cried. Now, is it wrong for men to be petty? Just get your opinion. I, I don't. I don't understand your question. Can men be petty? Like, it, like usually we're men. We are supposed to take the high road. If a girl does something foul or off the wall, we just supposed to. Alright, uh, so a man, man walk away. what's petty to you? Like, describe to me as a man being petty. You uh okay? You said you're gonna do something for me, right? Okay. You didn't do it. Okay. Then uh, I was supposed to, you were supposed to pick me up from the store. You didn't. You said you was coming. You just never came. Mm -hmm. So now the other shoes on the other foot. Instead of being a hired man saying no, y'all got you, bro. You just never show up. So you basically do the same thing that I did to you. What? Yeah, there she is with some boy shorts. Yeah. She's messing with the same girl. <laughs> same girl. So what's your opinion, Justin? Oh, I think men can be petty. I think, but I think men, I think men's pettiness is mostly pride. You know, like men are. Black men. <laughs> black. black men. We're prideful. I am black. I don't know how this lighting's doing for my complexion, but that's my name. I'm black. Should I say the N word? <laughs> no, but I, I think I think uh, I think I think men are prideful more than they are petty. But I think that that, that pride can cause pettiness. You know, like if if a if a, if, if a woman. Uh, Let's just do the, 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 the most simple relationship petty game, right? All right? When you first start talking to a female, talking to a female, mm -hmm. and you're doing the game of who texts first, <laughs> that's petty. It's petty. And honestly, it's bullshit. Because it's like, if you care about somebody, if you're interested in somebody, you should just be talking to them. Mm -hmm. You should just hit them up. Mm -hmm. Now, it goes for both of y'all. But women are petty for a different reason. Men are petty because... I don't know, it varies. I don't know, I don't know what y'all think, but I think, I don't know why men are petty. I think sometimes it can be because they don't want to be vulnerable. I think it's because they're prideful. I think sometimes it's because... Bitches. I don't know, like, I don't know, but women are petty, I think, and I, and I might be, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm gonna always support my black women. I think that women can be petty, and this is my last point. Women can be petty only to defend themselves, you know, like, they need to nitpick. Hold on, to defend? Yeah, I mean, I think most of the girls go on offense and like it's not now. Most of the things six, black women put us through oh is a, is is a learned experience. They know they got to put up with this much less because a nigga didn't got me last time. Fool me once, oh. so of course they petty because they didn't got got every way they being petty. 
still doesn't give him the right to do another person wrong. Of course, he don't get they had the right man, and then you got God. Well, she <laughs> like, be getting people now without even trying. She, if a guy just talks to her, she might say, I'm gonna play this dude. How many women do you think you talk to every day? Every Try day. to talk to you. Try to talk to you. Like, if, in public, if you go to the mall, how many women do you think you're gonna walk away saying you tried to talk to? You? One or two. Try. Whether it's a look, a talk, you know, a so phone right. number. You say rather just a look, talk, grandma. anything, Try. anything, just to talk. Not even gotta get them. Just hey, chat it up. Two, three. How many women come up Depends. to you? Depends, but it depends though. But no, no. But In my many... situation, it depends. Okay. Okay. How many women come up to you? Just to come up and start a conversation. Yeah. They don't have to. Probably like one or two. Okay. None. Okay. <laughs> look, look at these numbers. Both of y'all said two or three. I'd probably say two, three. I'm a little bit more bold. I might hit five. <laughs> Not the success ratio, but just like, just because of the hell of it. But I'm saying, if all of us are saying two to three, there's seven women in the mall. They've been hit probably 35 times before. Probably before we got there. And all of us, I mean, of those 35, let's say 12 they've seen before, 12 of the games they've seen before. Uh... I'm not good at that. Eight, <laughs> eight are new and kind of works, and you might have got a number, maybe. And the rest of them were just new versions of bullshit that they can see through, but now they gotta be petty because they don't want to deal with that shit again. Just discard pile. So I'm saying, women deal with us all damn day. They can't escape us. They walk into a room, they know we looking. Mm -hmm. I try not to look just true. to not put them through that. that mm -hmm. So it's like, of course they petty. They deal with us all day, so if they got the right, no. you ain't got the right to be... I'm saying, like, if, okay, okay, I understand, but still, I would say, like, I can walk up to a black girl and say, hey, she shouldn't have to be rude, though. I'm just saying, but, like, still, I can walk up to a black chick say, hey, how you doing? Yeah, she don't have to be interested in me, but she don't gotta, like, give off a rude vibe. Or, but like, that's how you know it's not a front. No, but... It depends. I'm saying, well, I use, well, for you, like, 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 white girls or just other girls in general, they might be coming off more friendly. Saying, they might still reject you, but, but it's I'm not saying, like a... But I'm saying, though, like, how you know it's not a prank, though? I mean, some girls put on a prank. So, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes they make... So, look, so, look, <laughs> listen. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Sometimes they may put that on at first. When you, you try to go holler at a girl, she, she curvy. She, she probably put that on at first, but... You never know. If you could probably go shoot your shot again, you never know what she would do. She, so she, probably, she probably just want to see if you just going if you really, if you really want to talk to her. How like like if you really want to talk to her, how, how far yeah. are you willing to go to talk to the girl? You feel me? You never know. You gotta you, go too far. Can you give him a point. <laughs> <laughs> shit like that. So oh no, that shit. No, crazy. I think that's fair. A woman told me this, and it and it and it shattered my world. That's how fucked up men are, right? She says, I, I, I somebody gave her the same argument. She he said, uh. Y'all ain't gotta be rude, you know, why you can't just talk back? She said, I'm, I'm telling you, it killed me. She said, nigga, I don't owe you shit. <laughs> and I'm saying, and it sounds funny, but it's like, we are not entitled to nothing from them. They don't have to give us nothing. We expect it. Because politeness is not, politeness is, you know, it's nice. But for women, politeness is, I'd say 87% of the time when a man's being polite, they got a reason to be skeptical because eighty seven percent of the time it's to get in their pants yeah. or to get something from them. So I'd rather be just up front. Hey, Shawty. Just basically Is dog. that up front for you? I'm just saying though, you said I'm just giving you a nigga. I'm just you said all first well, hey girl. Shouty. Hey girl, come here. Hey mom. Hey. No, but I think you could just be honest, like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, saying, but that's not rude. That's like, that's not so rude. She don't want nothing to do. She don't want nothing to do. She don't want to do. She probably already got something going on with her shit. She probably already got a man. She probably just she, cause she ain't she don't have to explain herself to why she but don't. She said nice to you. was you just said nice was like the equivalent of just. I'm saying you being know. nice doesn't mean she. She has to be nice to, nice to, nice to you. I, I understand that. So, I'm saying, it's so where are you going? I'm saying it's a way she can say it. Like it's, she can. Cut she you don't off. owe you that though. Yeah, but she's not being disrespectful. But now she don't. She, she, she don't know you. She don't have to be disrespectful. she's not being disrespectful by not responding. That's petty. That's we're being petty, just like Jay was. She's not being disrespectful. Jay was. That's petty. petty when you want a girl to respond to him the way you want her to respond to him. Hold on. He get mad. That's petty. Yeah. No. Fuck it. Jay. Jay Z, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no, Jay is a petty ass uh, man. He ain't petty. Boy. He is. He's, He's not a petty ass boy. Not even gonna lie. He gotta defend himself. I ain't gonna say it. 
Uh, you got to defend. Uh, no, it's petty. When a girl doesn't give yourself, and he feels entitled to a responsible to woman. Bro. He feels entitled he to a certain level of care or politeness from a woman. Cause them real disrespectful because they don't give him the time of the day. But it's like she got a life. She ain't worried about you. Yeah. But you gonna get mad at her? Call her a six out of ten? Say I must like ugly girls? He's uh, trying to hurt this girl. Oh my god. Of course she gonna be petty after that. She didn't know. Cause you treating her some type of way. Cause what? She just. Protecting herself, she dealing she with her own life. Fuck. She don't want to fuck with you. She don't owe you nothing. That nigga did say he petty though. He already said he was petty. I'm saying right. men can be petty. That's not the question. Why? That's the question. Why well, I men? It is pride and all the shit we just talked about. It is because we still think because we act a certain way, we deserve something. This shit is not. Yeah, it's a game, know. but it ain't that type of game. <laughs> it really not. You just be yourself and keep on walking. Yeah, that's some generic bullshit, but... Damn, nigga! <laughs> this man is trying to... Generic bullshit. What am I supposed to say? I just, I think, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. like, it's just my own word. Nigga, stand ten toes down. That's all you do. I don't know. Stay, stay ten toes down. Well, yeah, that's my take. I know I was a little aggressive. I'm back. Mm-hmm. And I, uh, I just think a lot... I don't like petty men. I don't think, you know, black men treat... Uh, black women, I don't even want to say all black women. Like, black women, well... They don't treat us right. It goes 50 That's 50. bullshit, bro. It goes 50 50, bro. They, but it's not because they treat us that way. Because, because we, the they have learned from our mistakes. They don't give them right, man. They don't. They, I'm, they get that pass, though, bro. Yeah. Uh, they get that pass. And honestly, they, they can change what we do. And we're not taking it on ourselves. Like, we're not trying to become better men. So, how do we have the right to say you need to change? You need to work on how you treat us when y'all are the victims Shit, of our bullshit? Everybody's not a victim, yeah. though. Nah. I'm just saying, put, I'm just you need to go find a woman who doesn't feel that way. Then. Don't I'm blame saying, the one that does. I'm not saying, but I'm saying, like, okay, I talked to a girl. She can't put all her past. It, it's happening all of us. They'll try to label it. But watch this, though. Watch this, though. But you now, girls. Look, watch this, though. Look, watch this. You say you got, you say, all right, you talking to a girl right there, but she, but she blaming her past and putting it all on you. Yeah. Shit. Her past fucked her up. If her past had to fuck her up, that bad's what she put. Her past fucked to you. That means she got her wall up. And she still got something to deal with. That means she got her wall up. That means she. That means she is not trying to break that wall. She not trying to go back down through that. So she she gonna hold tight onto that wall. You just gotta if if you really like once again this this gets back to first uh first. Fuck, what's that shit called? Goddamn. Uh, <laughs> Carmack. Yeah, that's what it is. 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 That's oh, the only problem. Yeah, this this is this you want to endorse yeah, yeah. Carmax? Can you, can you do a little like close up? Hey Carmax, you want to sponsor? Hit us up at bluecentury at gmail dot com. We got an email. <laughs> I've been g- <laughs> cut. <laughs> but what were you trying to say right quick? No, I forgot. I forgot the word. I'm geek. Geek. Me, he's geeked on life. Well, yeah, geeked on life. 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 Huh? Somebody call me? Just, just keep on going. Alright, so let's just round it out. Personally, I think men can be petty. I say they can, but... It's the women's fault. That's not women. It goes both ways. That's my opinion. 50-50. They got a reason. Alright. Yeah, it was good. That right here. And that's, uh, that's a blue century thought. Episode 2. Also, go follow us on Twitter, Instagram. Please subscribe and like to our video. And shout out to the Golden Eye Show. I was on, we was on our radio show this past Sunday. Y'all have a blessed night, and please uh, subscribe. Oh, uh, my Snapchat is Justin A. Cates. I don't do shit, but you know. Snapchat JB Five Thousand. Follow me. Uh, also, buy him a phone. He's on some nigga shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gotta put him out there like that. Metro, boost. Yeah, you're we'll take- my phone, bro. You're me. Don't worry, a new one coming in.